Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Antique and Garden Showcase. I'm Mark, glad that you're here today. First, we're gonna take a look at some things of uh, ongoing projects that I'm working on, like the trailer and what have you. But um, I'm also gonna go vote this morning. It's Tuesday, so uh, the day before this video comes out. I'm gonna go do that, I'm gonna go do some work projects, and then I'll show you some updates I've got going on. Um, getting ready for uh, the upcoming holidays and things too and getting planters uh, ready for that and uh, some preparations being made. So stay tuned and we'll get into some of these things. Well, there's an interesting story about the trailer. You know, I didn't buy the biggest trailer that I could find. I bought a five by eight thinking it would be perfect for everything I need and it is size wise. The thing that I'm having trouble with here is that I did not realize it's on, it's four inches taller than a seven foot garage door, which means it's not gonna fit in here. It's also not gonna fit in my storage facility. So I had to find a new storage facility to put this in and I'm on the, on the road to that, I'm working on it. But for now it's parked here and that's kind of been good because it's given me a chance to work on modifications. And here's what I've done so far. I've put in uh, hooks across the wall. I've put in six on each side at varying heights and one on each. There's metal framework, so you have to put them in the metal framework. So there's a pair on each one of those. And then up front, there's two here in case I want to strap anything in the front. I might have should have put them like this and this, and I may go back and add more, but we'll see see how that works for now. It can always be changed. And then did the same thing on this side of the wall. Now I'm waiting on some other things to come in. This is just a trailer dolly I've got in here now to kind of help move it around. Uh, I am going to put in a rubber mat on the floor that will kind of help keep things clean. It will also keep things from uh, sliding around a little bit more. And then once I get that installed, I've got some more floor D rings that are going to be going in on the corners in there that'll help hold the mat down but also if i want to lay something flat in the floor i can strap that across but anyway that's the story of the trailer it ended up working well but it's also had its own problems which this means that now if i do get the new storage facility i'm gonna have to clean out my old one and move everything to the new one but you know whatever it, it'll work if you're on Facebook, you saw that I posted about picking up this willow tree, uh, lighted LED branch willow tree uh, for one of the garden containers, the one in the round formal garden. Uh, I use the white birch branches in pots usually every year. These are for indoor outdoor. And the bases of these typically have like two little holes in them. And I'm gonna show you what I do and how I fix those into pots. Uh, in just a couple seconds here. So once the mums go right here, this is where I'm gonna put the willow tree in. I think it'll have a bigger spread and diameter and fill this bed in. I had some single birch branches in here last year and it just looked a little skimpy in pictures. I'll throw one up on the screen so you can see what that looked like. And I think this willow branch is gonna come out and kind of flow over a little bit more and make that look better. But I've, <laughs> who's got cannas blooming in November? Me. Um, anyway, I've taken some things out up here already to prepare. These two are empty because the things were looking bad. But what I do is I take two bricks and then I set the base of the tree on the bricks. And very simply, I take a zip tie on each side, zip tie through the tree, through the brick on each end. And that stabilizes that center piece in there so it will hold. Now, what I do after that is I take, and I know some people don't like it, but it's one of the things that I found that works out here that's stable enough in the wind and whatever else. I use floral foam and I just cut enough to fit right around in here, right around in here, here and here on all sides of that. The, and then I'd moisten that a little bit. And then I can cut greenery from the yard. I'll cut magnolia or I'll get some spruce or different things. There's some cedar down in the backyard, whatever I can find and put in there. And I do spray that with wilt stop uh, from uh, Bonide that does that, but I use their wilt stop on that and it does help. So after I do that initial water, stick those branches in there and arrange it, it's pretty much done. Sometimes I'll gather some new things and kind of freshen it up too. 
And as an added bonus, I'm thinking about putting another willow tree right in the center of the driveway island. I actually picked up another one of those trees the other day. I thought about putting it right here so it'll come up and kind of fill in that space. And then I've got the little animated deer that I usually use in the corner. I think I'll just move those out and put them here in this bed this year, fill that in and just have smaller areas to deal with. So I couldn't stand it. I went back, I, I found those trees. I really liked them. I thought, well, I'm gonna go get the other one because they only had two in stock. I will show you more on the garden urn project as soon as I start working on that more. I'm waiting. This week we have our last really warm week here in Kentucky. And after this week, we're going to be 20s for evening lows and I think mid 40s for the highs during the day. And that looks pretty consistent going on forward. It may warm to like 50s and 30s, but you know, pretty much when it gets cold, it's cold. So, um, after th this cold snap, I'm going to start getting all those urns completely cleaned out. I'll have bricks in all of the bottoms of each one of those, and each planter will have its own birch branches. So I'll use the single birch branches by the front door. The outer two urns will use the single birch branches, and then I'll put the new willow tree out in the uh, formal bed and also on the driveway island. So I'm going to keep it really simple this year. I'm I don't know, it's been such a busy year. I just want simple decorations. I want it to be easy, easy put up, easy take down, easy storage. A lot of those things mean a lot right now. And you know, these are economical, they're all LED. So you know, I can put them on timers, have them kick on at night and I don't even really have to worry about them. So that's one benefit of having these areas fixed like this. It just makes things a little bit more simple. Thanks everyone for watching Antique and Garden Showcase and have a good week. I'll see you on Saturday. Bye.